Hey everybody, it's Jim and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Just wanted to review what we did in the last lesson, which was to use the dollar sign parenthesis function parenthesis to capture output from a function call. What this does is any output that would normally go to your computer screen instead gets plopped down right here. That is, if this wasn't commented line. So let's review our function for today, the function we have within our program, and we'll look at how we call the function and save the output. So here's our program, and here's our function definition. Once again, you use the word function, you give the function name, in this case it's cube, it's going to cube the input value that we give it, and cube is equal to anything from the open curly brace to the closed curly brace. Every time we type in the word cube, all the commands from here to here end up getting run. And just a brief comment about what the function does. And this function expects an input value. We're going to place it in the variable n. And like I said, I would normally use a more descriptive name. However, because of the resolution on YouTube, if I make lines that are of a wide width, it gets hard to read them. So we copy whatever the user put in when they called cube. They're going to call cube in the manner of cube space a number. And then this number gets put into dollar sign one. We copy it over to a variable called n. And then we do some math here, because that's what the double parentheses mean. And we're just taking n and cubing it, and we're placing the result in a variable called result. And then we're printing it. Two things I want you to notice. We use this dash capital R, because if this is a negative number, it will mess up the print statement. The print statement would think a negative number is a flag that goes to the print statement. So we use the dash capital R, which says that if this is a negative number, just print it as a negative number. It's not a flag that goes to the print statement. And the other thing is this will print just a number. So let's look at how we would capture it. I put in a print statement just to print a blank line for white space on the output. And here we are calling our function and we're giving it a value of negative two. And negative two cubed should be negative eight. And once again, what this says right here is that anything that would normally go to the output screen will instead get captured and put right here. And then because we have a variable on the left-hand side here with an equal sign, whatever gets captured and plopped down right here will then be assigned to the variable answer. So what gets captured? Only this right here. Whatever result is. So normally, this would print a minus 8 to the screen. However, we capture it using the dollar sign parenthesis parenthesis, plop it down right there, and then answer then becomes minus 8, and we just print our answer. So let's run this, and dollar sign answer is minus 8. Let's look at the code one more time. So it says here, print dollar sign answer is and whatever it was in dollar sign answer which in our case was a negative 8. 